Well, there was two games, and uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate everybody that was here and uh, everybody that put on the regional. I thought it was a great job by everybody associated with with the University of Miami and uh, Coach Morris and his staff. Congratulations on a great year, uh, and also Columbia and Bethune Cookman. I uh, thought it was a real one, a great regional. Uh, thought the grounds crew worked their tail off last night and uh, neat bunch of guys down there. And, uh, guys running the tournament did a really good job. Uh, as far as the two games today, uh, or the last two days, uh, yesterday's game and the first five outs today just didn't go our way. Uh, game of inches, I mean, literally, uh, first ball hit, I think Palmer hits, I mean, you take a step in, get a maybe a little better jump. Uh, who knows what happens in that game? Uh, but really commend them for coming out and fighting and scoring those runs. I think the game ended up being two to one. Is that accurate? Uh, and I mean, that game of inches. I mean, the, the ball lands. Uh, Palmer scores on a bang banger. Uh, there's a lot of and, and also, I mean, the umpires did a great job. I mean, though we had the one little mishap yesterday. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, you can blame me on that one. Uh, I wish I'd seen Goot drop the ball. Uh, I didn't see that. And anyway, that's that. Uh, unfortunate deal at the same time. I think uh, both teams, both clubs really handled themselves well today. And everybody did a good job with everything. As far as uh, game seven, I guess is what you call the championship game. Uh, we like to call it a baseball game. Cameron Smith, I mean, it was, he was phenomenal. Uh, literally, we were going to start Jonathan Tripp. I mean, we had it set yesterday we were going to start him today because Cameron pretty much had a little, like he said, he was tweaked up. Told you guys that, I think, on Thursday or Friday. Uh, I guess we don't need to play him in golf because he's a pretty good sandbag because uh, he might be that guy to take your money. Uh, he... Uh, Really pitched his tail off, and uh, I mean, literally, after the first couple pitches, we're wondering, is he going to find his command? And, and he did, and I uh, started locating the ball. And it, I mean, as far as, as far as all that goes, it's just really special. I mean, when a kid tells you trust him, you say, here's the ball, it's pretty neat. <laughs> I told a couple people I had no shot, so. It means a lot uh, as far as that goes. That's where the that's where that comes from, and uh, just a baseball game. At the same time, you put a lot of trust in these kids, and they got it done. Talk about where you've taken this program from uh, when you took over two years ago to uh, where it is now. Well, I don't think we need to start counting our money while we're sitting at the table. I mean, really, we got a game next week, and. Uh, we're going to stay grounded. We're going to get back to Lubbock, practice on Tuesday, take a day off tomorrow. No, today's Monday. We'll take a day off on Tuesday. And uh, I'll, let, I'll let you guys talk about where we're going and what we're doing. And, uh, we're going to keep playing baseball. Can you talk about the, the, last, the starting pitcher between Dushik, Mosley yesterday, Cameron today? These guys were just phenomenal. Right? I mean, what were they doing? What was their plan of attack that, that kept Miami on the side? Well, it was, I mean, you got to really uh, command Coach Gardner, Coach Hayward, Coach Thomas. Uh, you know, all those guys did a really good job uh, rallying the troops, uh, figuring out a game plan. But, I mean, it kind of goes back to just, I mean, simple baseball, pitching ahead. Uh, today, I think we're fortunate today. Uh, I really thought last night when we pushed it to a day game it might play more offensive today than it did last night. And uh, I think it was probably the opposite with the northeast wind uh, there quite a bit in right field. Wish I would have recognized that going into the five out deal. And actually we were playing pretty close, just one of those deals. Uh, but really the guys just really pitched good. And, I mean, we're kind of joking down there. We're not going to think about putting Smith in the rotation. You think? Or just keep going That's TBA? Up to you. That's up to you. Okay. TBA works. There you go. Um, 
Talk about going into the into the game seven, the, the, the second game today. After Miami rallies, they seem to have the momentum. Like they talk about, they're at home on their home field. They're the home team. They've got the confidence. What did you guys do to take it away from them? Well, the biggest thing is uh, I think our group's been really good at uh, I don't know the right word for it, but basically not looking back and just play baseball and. Uh, one thing when you get in these situations, I think in any sport, uh, the better you can kind of corny, stay in the moment, one pitch at a time. The more you can do that, the better off you're going to be. Uh, and, but our guys have been really good at that as far as that goes. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if there's anything said from the coaching staff uh, that really inspired them. Uh, you'd have to ask them that as far as that goes. But, uh, neat deal. You hold them in the dugout immediately after that first game. What did you say to them? We knew we were going to have adversity when we left when we left Lubbock, and uh, we got some. And what do you do? I mean, what's everybody in the room do when you have some adversity? I know what I do. Right. I you you appreciate it. Appreciate it. Move on. And start playing. As hard as it was to score runs today. When you guys finally got some kind of given to you there with the error, how much did that maybe loosen some things up offensively for you? Guys? Well, 